Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? I guess y'all said I was missing in action or what have you. Well, in a way of speaking, it's true, and in a way of speaking, it's not. Let me turn my... Uh, didn't get my ducks in a row this morning, y'all. Been so long since I've been up here, I don't quite know how to... Wait a minute. Uh, let me just get this television. Let's go over here to my... I'll do the fireplace today. Because it's kind of chilly. I don't know about where you are, but it's kind of chilly up here. And it's kind of windy. You know, I don't know what to do. I, I, I mean, you know, you don't know what, how to dress or how to do anything. If you're going out, oh shoot, that's my washing machine, y'all. I guess the clothes are not level. Oh, Lord. I had to... Uh. Let's turn that sucker off until I get through. Scared the living daylights out of me, and I'm shining like new money. Oh, my God. I put oil on my face, y'all, just in case you're wondering. But I thought that I had wiped it off because I wanted to get it a chance to, uh, you know, absorb into the skin. Oh, shit. That washing machine threw my whole... Thought process, or oh, now I can't think. But let's get. Oh, shoot. Darn cameras are lopsided, everything. I had everything all set up, too. At least I thought I did. But anyway, I turned the washing machine off until I get through talking to the AAG team. So, how's everybody doing this morning? I can tell you I've been busy, busy, busy. Just like a little bee buzzing around. Bzzz, that's what I've been doing. But I ain't been doing what you think I was doing. I wasn't cleaning house, that's for sure. This is what I've been doing, y'all. That's what I've been doing. I said once I pick that needle up, it is on. And it's true, you know, I ordered some more yarn. I've got my yarn stuff out here. I ain't got time to clean up. I got a crochet. <laughs> but I promised myself after this, I've got a whole box of uh, yarn over here. Well, not really a whole box. You know, I got the little skeins of yarn, you know, to make those little different. <laughs> uh. Yep, it's on. And so when I get through making this, I promise, I, but I said that when I finished making those blankets for my granddaughter, I said once I finished that, that was going to be that. But I had all this yarn left, for, you know. And so then I said, well, hey, let's do this. And so I did this. But now I got to order more yarn. I think I'm just going to make this big, gigantic quilt. You know, that you, I don't care what the colors are or anything like that. So I'm just going to make it big enough to cover my bed. So I got to order some more. Even though I got, you know, quite a few things that's on my bed right now. Oh, boy, let's not talk crochet, y'all. Let's talk about what's been going on. What's happening over there in your neighborhood? Well, ain't much happening around here, as you can plainly see. Been stuck in the house due to the weather. And it's, the wind is even blowing today as well. And I got trash I need to get out of here. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not worried about anything except my crochet. That's it. And uh, Amazon. I got to get me an order from... Uh, I mean, I got to put in an order for Amazon. There. Turn that down. Now, that's a, look at this fireplace, y'all. That looks like a piece of oven, right? You ever seen those piece of uh, brick oven pieces? Look at this. It looks like a, a oven. You could actually... Well, like they say, you know, most fireplaces, you know, you can, you can cook if you want to. Where there's fire, you can cook. That's what I said, just in case something jump off. I was going to get me some firewood. At least I can cook. I get me some firewood. I could use firewood in my grill. You know, I got a grill outside. And then, um, 
I don't know, it's, it's everything is looking like something is about to pop off, y'all, that's going to affect the U.S. of A. You know, I ain't got to talk war, nothing like that. But I am talking, y'all better be prepared. Start stocking. Get you one of those uh, weather band radios and stuff. Uh. I'm sorry, I got so much to check out here. Let me show you. I, I should be ashamed of myself. Look at this. I got all this stuff. Now, this is the crochet and stuff. This is the, t uh, the tray that I got to fill up with my medication. I got my scissors here, my crochet needle, my glasses, and these are the uh, yarning needles. I got this open, my tape. I've got water. i got... In case I get to feeling sorry for myself, I got some of these too, y'all. <laughs> but I've been trying to lighten up off that because my feet are still swollen. Yeah. So I've got to try to get that down. But I haven't been. I, I said, you know, uh, let me see if I can show you one of my. Well, this looks like it's swollen. It went down except the ankles. It looks better today than it did yesterday. Matter of fact, they've been swollen for all, almost all the whole week. Ever since I made that um, uh, chicken casserole with that I told you it was too salty, and so I made the noodles and put on top of it, but it was so good. I mean, I wish y'all could have tasted this. But you know, a lot of people, when they make uh, macaroni and cheese, baked macaroni and cheese, they put crumbs on top of it anyway. But this, I use the herbal um, stove top that, that went is whistling around the corner, y'all, as usual. I don't know what you go in on, oh, y'all. But anyway, um, the herbal, you know, the, uh, uh, oh boy, I can't even think, the um, stuff and mix that I bought was called the savory oven uh, herbal or something like that. This is my stove top. And I put some of that better than bouillon in it. I think that's where I went wrong. I put a little bit too much and it made it a little too salty. And that's why I had done the uh, noodles. Let me get something to wipe my face. Oh my goodness. But once I put the macaroni on top and baked it and everything... I thought that was resolved the problem, which it did, you know, because it was edible, you know, because it was sort of, you know, after it was done, you sort of eat a little macaroni and a little bit of the uh, stuff and then, you know, the mix. But apparently it affected my feet, but I didn't eat after I found out my legs were, I mean, my knees, my, oh boy, I'm getting tongue tied, y'all. Once I found out that my feet were swollen, I stopped. I didn't eat anymore. But I was eating other stuff, you know, that was salty. You know, so I said, okay, I got to cut out of everything. And so that's what I've been doing, working on my crochet, keep my mind off the food. And then I said to myself, well, what am I going to eat? So today I got out my hamburger. And I got it, well, I got it thawing in the refrigerator. It's not out on the counter or anything. I said, I can make the hamburger and cabbage. And then, you know, when I put the sauce, I'm going to put the sauce in the hamburger. And then I'm going to make a like a baked uh, casserole type, you know, with the cabbage and the, and the, um, uh, the sauce from the um, uh, hamburger. I must still be sleepy because my thought, I can't think. What is going on this morning, y'all? Ain't nothing going on with me except what I just told you and my crocheting. And of course, my numbers are going down, down, down on my videos. I'm not getting any uh, increases. Instead of getting increase, I'm getting decrease. But I refuse to get up, give up. So I'm going to uh, continue to make my videos, you know, when I get around to it. I probably won't make as many you know, maybe make two a week or something like that. Just to keep up. You know, just to keep up. See what is going on. 
And that's just about it. That just about covers everything now. I got this oil all over my hands. I didn't put that much, you know, it don't take much of that oil. You know, that bio oil I was telling you about before. It doesn't take much. And it's all in, see, it's all in my hands. The shininess. But I thought I had done this. You know, you wipe it off. I might need to take a damp cloth or something to wipe it off. But I want it to absorb in my skin. Like I said, I, you know, I'm good, just, I don't want to wipe my oil off. And, uh... Oh boy, let me show y'all something, how, that, how things get tangled. This is what happens, look at that. Oh shoot, and I just, oh Lord, I done, it done rolled under the desk, y'all. Ah, my goodness. You can make a mess when you crochet until, you know, if you ain't careful. And just like I did just now, but I thought I had everything pretty orderly. And I haven't got, you know, all the yarn, you know, you roll it up so it don't get tangled up. And that's going to be my day, y'all, except for I'm cooking my hamburger because i got to have something to eat. I don't know if I should make it for breakfast. I mean, not breakfast. I already had cereal for breakfast. But maybe I should make that for lunch because it's almost 12. It's almost 12 here. Make it for lunch and dinner, and then I'll still have enough for tomorrow, because that's a pretty nice size, you know, pack of hamburger. And I got one, you know, medium-sized cabbage that's been in there, so I'm going to cook the whole cabbage. And just put it in the oven, and, you know, I'm going to boil the cabbage first, and fry up the hamburger, scramble it up, and put my sauce in there. And then put it in a casserole dish, and stick that bad boy in the oven, and let it rip. That's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. Hello. I feel really good right now, y'all. I feel like I want to boogaloo a little bit this morning. But I'll tell you, <coughs> that wind out, so let me see if I can get out here. I, 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 I don't want to talk to you about the windy weather, but hey, it's, it's you know, it's so loud. Let's see. It's cold, too. Ooh. It is cold. See those trees, how they're blowing around out there? But people are walking like there's not even nothing to it but to do it. But, you know, I was the same way when I was young, you know. And I'm still, actually, I'm sort of like that. I'm still sort of like that right now, because if... <laughs> if I really need something, the only, the only reason they're keeping me back is, uh, you know, if I want to take my scooter or something. I got to worry about my scooter, you know, getting uh, flooded or something like that when it's raining. There's the backyard. Look at those beautiful flowers over there, y'all. I ain't opened the door. And Pinky, look at Pinky. You see that branch right there? Pinky, the branch right there. That branch wasn't way over here last year. Oh my goodness, I got a feeling they're going to tear. I got a feeling they're going to dig Pinky up and do away with Pinky, y'all. Because Pinky's growing out of hand. It's a, you know, it's a tree. <laughs> After all, you're not, we're not supposed to plant flowers, let alone a plant like a tree. But he's still in the pot. <laughs> Oh, well, they may try to charge me some money to dig Pinky up because they think it's my fault. But it's really, it was really an innocent, you know, gesture. So, but I don't know. We shall see what they're going to do because they still haven't put the, uh, the fence up yet. Hopefully they do it soon before the, which I don't cook out. When I cook out, I don't cook out back there, y'all. Believe me, we get out here so everybody can see us. We at the front. Oh, yeah. We got to be seen. But, you know, we don't keep a lot of noise. I remember, I think it was last year that we had a cookout. And we were, no, it wasn't last year because I didn't have any no last year. So it must have been a year before. And the people across the street decided to play some music for us. I guess they figured, hey, you need some music with your cookout. But, see, I don't need the music with my cookout. I think you know, I might play a little bit of something, something and that's it. Oh, but they were playing some good stuff out there, y'all. 
They were playing them oldies but goodies. But I think the lady across there, it might have been her granddaughter that was doing it because she, you know, went on to be with the Lord. Good water right there, y'all. That's nature's promise to stop and shop. Organic. How do you make organic water? Well, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> do you know how to make organic water? I don't even know how you make an organic chicken or organic anything. I really don't. So I'm just going to be honest with you about that one. But I can tell you one thing. They got this thing now. They say, look on your package or your meat to see if it says hatched or something. Or free Roman chicken or something like that. Because I don't know if I told you, I haven't bought chicken wings since this happened to me. There was like veins of something growing out the top of the chicken wing. I said, I ain't ever seen anything like that. I threw that particular, you know, I threw it away. That particular chicken wing, which I should have, I think I threw some more of them away too because they just didn't taste right to me. But the thing is, I think you're supposed to look on the package to see what, if it's, uh, what you call that thing? Um... Mm, I can't think of it. Uh, it's see if they've been cloned or something. You know, that sort of thing. Like they're in the lab. You grew it in the lab. And they're supposed to let you know. But I I believe something. I know. I've been knowing for a long time that there's something wrong with food. And uh, like those short ribs, I know it don't take that long for no normal short ribs to cook. Not the norm. Because they be tender after like four. You put them in the pot, maybe less time than 45 minutes. They're tender. But you know you're going to probably cook them a little longer just to get uh, the rest of the stuff in your pot that you're going to put in there and stuff like that. But uh, mm -mm, those things are so tough I couldn't even hardly stick the fork in it. And I told you about that. <laughs> what, what was that thing I had that time? That, uh, oh, that pork tenderloin one. I told you it looked like a tongue. Something ain't right. I'm almost a vegetarian. I think I'm just going to be a, a vegetarian and a fruit, you know, fruit, vegetables, and uh, call it a day. I, I would eat nuts. Nuts is, I don't know what they can do to nuts. But they're doing something with that meat, I can tell you. Oh, yeah. Something ain't right. But I realize there are a lot of people, more people on this earth than there was, I'll say, even five years ago. It's like the amount of people have tripled. You know? There's a lot of people here on this earth. I mean, I'm, uh, there's, you know, a lot of territory on the earth that hasn't even been explored yet. So, uh, I think they need to get a bulldozer and start clearing up some of that territory. But, you know, there's a lot of people, in other words, there's a lot of places on earth that man has never set foot on. Yeah. They ain't been there. Because the earth is so vast. But, like I said, there are so many people until they figure, like, I guess the farmers can't keep up with the amount of people, so they gotta do something to manufacture your food, make sure you're hungry. I'm start eating beans. I got me some beans in there. Matter of fact, I got the, the frozen lima beans. I got the dried lima bean. I got my stash of fruit, even the canned fruits and stuff like that. It's just not the same anymore, y'all. Ever since COVID, it seems like. It seems like once COVID hit in here, a whole lot of stuff changed. And I know, you know, the oranges definitely changed because I just recently started back buying oranges. And even some of them, you know, they don't look all that great. But they taste a lot better than they did. So, that's my decision. I don't know what y'all going to do. Get you some rice and some, you know, flour because you can make pancakes at home. You ain't got to buy nobody's pancake. Make your own pancake. Crack a egg in it. <laughs> 
Octopus. <laughs> and then, you know, fry it up in some butter. And uh, put a little sugar in it and a little vanilla flavor. And there you have it, y'all. The best pancakes you ever did taste. Well, you know, you get in your kitchen and experiment stuff. Because, like, years ago, we didn't have all this stuff in our house. We didn't. We didn't have a whole lot of canned goods. Not that I recall. Uh, my mother did her own canning. We had a, a garden. I may have uh, re uh, talked about this before up here. She had a garden. She would, you know, get the mason jars. She'd can tomatoes. I think she canned some squash, she canned peaches, she canned apples. They would be so good when she opened them up. She canned green beans. Everything that you could just about uh, name, you know, she canned. And that's what I wish I had learned from my mother, you know, because that's what she was doing down south. But once we came north, you know, all that stuff, we, we, we're city now, we yeah. We got to get city-fied, so we became city-fied and started buying all this crap. But down south, we didn't have it. We just didn't. You know, like I said, you know, she had, we had like a big area, I mean, that covered. She would put it under something like a big old, you know, try to keep it out of the way. She even made her own pickles, I tell you. Best pickles. Now, that's what I really wish I had uh, kept. That pickle recipe that she had, you know, she she made her own sweet pickles. She canned peaches, you know, corn, whatever. She just canned it, green bean, whatever. Right on down to, uh, she canned right on down to, uh, what do you call it, watermelon rinds. But I didn't like that that much. I didn't like the watermelon rind. And I like, I love the peach preserve. Oh, out of this world. I loved it. And she would make a uh, can, blueberry, stuff like that, you know. That, you know, you, you, you go in the woods and get. If we didn't eat it before we get, before she got a chance to can, you know, can it. And then we used to have this big barrel it's like a wooden barrel. I, I don't know where they got these barrels from. You know, like I said, after all, I was a kid at the time. And that big barrel used to be full of flour. You know, self-rising, mainly self-rising flour. You know, even today, I, I prefer self-rising flour uh, to uh, all-purpose. You know, self-rising, it's got the, all the leavening agents in it already. But all-purpose, you know, you got to add to it. And uh, I do have both, though, in my refrigerator. I keep my flour in the refrigerator. I got both. I got self-rising, and I got all-purpose flour right there in that little bitty refrigerator right there, y'all. Got it right in there. And uh, that's what she would make the biscuits. And, and she had a great big, I think it was a big old bowl. You know, things seemed so big back there to me. This big wooden bowl that she used to make her biscuits every day. She used to roll biscuits. I got to get off the video, y'all. You know, because I ain't been up here in a while, and I keep yakking. And I got work to do. Well, I ain't really got no work to do, but I do need to do this. I need to do this right here. And that right over there, you know, with the dusting and, the, you know, shine it up a little bit. Because after all, spring has sprung, even though it don't feel like it. Believe it or not, it's spring now. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm If we were down home, we wouldn't have no clothes on at all. I mean, you know, we would have clothes, but not no jackets and sweaters and all that kind of stuff. We'd be dressed just like I'm dressed right now with my T-shirt. I found my T-shirt, y'all. I forgot what it says, something about B. Oh, be kind, yeah. I think. Love. I don't know, be kind. I don't know. But anyway, it's one of the shirts that I found that was in my closet that I don't think I wore it last year because I couldn't find it. Well, I, was, I forgot about it. I, I ordered so many t-shirts from Amazon, you know, the graphic with the uh, graphics on them. So, you know, every now and then I might run across one. 
And I got another shirt to show y'all. You know, the OJ passed away. God bless his soul. He passed away for a couple of days ago. Yeah. And I got an OJ. I was scared. I was scared to wear the shirt. And then in my closet, I saw it. I looked at it. I think I seen it maybe last week or when I was looking for something. It's up there in the closet on the shelf. And I've never worn that shirt. I don't know how it's falling apart. Unless I, I, I'm pretty sure I never wore that shirt. Whoa. And my chair is acting crazy. Did you hear that squeaking just now? See, like when I, oh, when I raise the arm up. Hear that? And both sides eh, is the same way. And I said, I know that's going to get messed up, you know, just by. Hear it? It's not supposed to do that. But my granddaughter did do a great job. And I got to close up the video, y'all. It's time for lunch. But I got some homemade. I got some tuna fish in there. It's enough. But I got to take the brioche uh, rolls out. I bought me some brioche rolls. And so I'm going to take them out. Take one out. You know. Because I got up kind of late, so. But I'm still like I want to eat. And I still got soda from where my granddaughter brought over here Saturday when I had my little get-together. Sail in the refrigerator. So I may have a little bit of that for uh, lunch along with my tuna fish sandwich. Matter of fact, let me take my brioche roll out right now while I'm thinking about it. Uh, my fridge, I gotta go to shopping, y'all. I only got two. I got two left. These are brioche. Two rolls. Oh, well. I'll leave both of them out because I'm pretty sure I probably... You know, and, and there's something else I haven't had in a long time. is like a hamburger. You know, like a plain old homemade hamburger with drip, with the uh, grease dripping out of it and some onions and... Wow, that's an idea. I think I'm going to have... Make me a hamburger. If it, you know, if, if uh, my food ain't done, because, you know, I get kind of lazy sometimes. And on that note, y'all, my wig is itching the back of my head. I probably need to wash my hair. But anyway, I'm getting ready to, um, I got this out here. I guess y'all wonder what in the world I'm doing with this out here. Well, actually, I brought it out here because I no longer take these this medication. Doctor took me off this. It's hydrochlorothiazide. Hydrochlorothiazide, whatever. Let's see. I'm trying to see the date. Because my legs are swollen. And I was thinking about taking one. Ah! Can't find out. I can't find nothing. I have to find that spyglass so I can look for it. I can see very well. Don't get me wrong. Six twenty-three. Six twenty. Wait a minute. What date? Bill? Yeah. Six twenty. 2023. Date written. Oh, that's the 6 20 Same thing. Ah. I don't know if I should, though, because they changed my med at my heart. I better not, now. Nah. I'm just going to throw it away as well, doctor. You, you don't, I no longer have to take that, so. But, I, I mean, that's good for getting the, the swelling down in my foot. My foot looked like a... Uh, let me see if I can see it. Look like Wendy Williams' foot. Did you see my foot? I hope I showed it to you. I got it propped up. I was trying to prop it up. 
Well, like both of them are swollen, but this one seemed to be the most swollen. And on that note, y'all, it's been a half an hour. And it's been a great half an hour spending this time with you. And I hope you come back to see me again soon. And I'm going live soon. Might go live later on tonight. Depends on how involved I let that crochet get with me. Because I want my daughter to, you know, help me with the going live again. Because I don't forget. I told you, like I said before, I don't know. I forgot what to do, how to do it. I don't know how to get the membership. The, I don't know how to do anything. You know, I just make a video, put it up there, and don't get paid. Well, I did get paid in one time, um, more than once. I got paid a couple of times when when I went viral, when that uh, car TV helped me go viral. And after that, no, no, the old girl don't get paid because I don't have enough numbers. You know, you, and when you get, like, a lot of people may look at my... Uh, uh, amount of subscribers that I got. Even there, it's over 10,000 subscribers that's left. And, uh, it's not the amount of subscribers. I mean, it might help you too, but mainly it's how people react to your videos. If they watch your videos, if they react, thumb it up, thumb it down, whatever, comment on it. That is what gets you paid. The amount of people that's reacting. Say, for instance, I put a video out and I get maybe a thousand views on that video. Okay, chances are, if I get a thousand on all my video, chances are I will get paid. But see, I don't get that. That's why I don't get paid, y'all. So, help me out when you can with a thumb up, comment, like, Subscribe, share, anything, any reaction like that. That uh, helps, you know, with getting paid. Well, you know, I want to get paid if I can because I want to cover my own carpet. Oh, yeah. If I get, my, get enough money together, I'll put down this carpet because I am tired of living like this with this dirty, filthy carpet. Oh, yeah, the bedroom is not so bad, but just in here, you know, the heavy traffic, like I said before, heavy traffic area. And on that note, I go with love. See you again soon.